Hey folks, Josh Beasley with Eco Panels of Tennessee. And I'm Sean Metz with Eco Panels of Tennessee. Hey, we wanted to talk to you some about uh, what an infill sit panel is. And just to break that down a little bit, of course, Eco Panels, we make structural insulated panels. Hopefully you've been on our channel enough to know what, what that is in general, right? And we want to talk about uh, what we call an infill panel. It's mainly used light commercial or light industrial, some commercial applications, but tell us exactly what an infill panel is doing. So an infill is basically just going to create that envelope, just dividing two different spaces. So what we've got here, you can see in the background, is we've got this uh, kind of structure dividing our warehouse into conditioned and unconditioned space. So all of our uh, all of our work is going to occur in there, and all of our setup is going to occur in here. And all that does is just make it to where it's super easy to condition a space within a space. Yeah. So we're in. Uh, if you've watched our other videos, you've probably been invited to Hermitage Springs, Tennessee. We're out here in the middle of the no of nowhere. If you'd like to come see what we do, you're welcome to. But really, we're in a well, it was a, uh, an Oshkosh factory that was yeah. built in the 70s, right? So it's really not unlike any other warehouse space, True. right, Sean? True. It's just we're on a concrete slab. We've got metal trusses, big, huge trusses that you can see there. And when we took over this facility, it was just a big open space, mm -hmm. right? Yep. And so the nature of our manufacturing and what we do, we need an area to be conditioned. Yeah, we need it regulated to keep sure all of that that goes on in our in our actual manufacturing plant is all very secure, all very regulated, all very much the same temperature. Yep. Yeah, but at the same time, we don't want to heat this entire building. Yeah, that's a big all that's the big time, one. right? So the idea of the infill is you can take a wall just like what you see behind us here put that in and if you can see in the video that wall's going up to the bottom of one of those trusses mm -hmm. and running the, the width of our building there's actually another wall just several <laughs> dividing out the other end of our shop right and the idea is you're making that space within the warehouse again like right, Sean right. said that can be conditioned the great thing is let's say we need to business improves Mm -hmm. You guys are going to buy stuff, right? Business improves <laughs> and we need to expand the size of our shop. Mm -hmm. This wall can come down, right? We can take this wall down and we can move it forward or we can move it back. We actually did that with our that back wall in the very far end of our uh, manufacturing space. Yep. And we actually moved it back and moved it forward to just kind of see where it was, how it was going. And, you know, it's really easy to do. Yeah, I took that sucker down, moved it down, <laughs> what, about 40 feet or yeah. so? Yeah. And the we nature, the nature of these warehouses and the way these buildings are built, it was basically the same dimension. And so it mm -hmm. just fit right down in another spot, slid mm -hmm. it down. So listen, if you have some warehouse space that you need to condition or kind of section off, this gets you an R26 yeah. and a four and a half inch panel. They go up quick. Yeah. We design and spec them out for your building. So. Uh, if you're interested in that, give us a call. Hop on our website, ecopanelsoftennessee.com. And as always, they can come see us, right? Absolutely. Come and see me and give me a call.